Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, April 7th, 2021, a commentary on verse 3 of Surah Al-Baqarah by Sheikh Muhammad Fawzi Al-Karkari, Qaddas Allah Sirrah. Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, after Alif La Mim, ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين ألف لا ميم that is the book in which there is no doubt a guidance for the reverent verse 3 reads الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون those who believe in the unseen and observe the prayer and spend of what we have provided them the sheikh comments who are the believers in the unseen? Al-Mu'minuna bil ghaib We know that faith has six pillars. Belief in God, His angels, His books, His messengers, the last day, and fate, or the measuring out, both good and bad. All these pillars come down to faith in the unseen. For all of these matters are unseen, not directly perceptible to us. Even if we know of the Qur'an, we do not really know of the other books of God except in the factual sense that we know that they exist. We do not really know their contents. Likewise, we know some of the names of the angels, but we do not know them all. We know that God exists, and that he is one and only. And we know of his names and attributes, but we cannot know them all, for he is first without beginning, and last without end. And so to us he will always be unseen. We believe in the last day, and its good and evil, though we have not seen it. Thus faith is a matter of the unseen. Those who believe in these matters and these pillars are the ones who have awareness and understanding of the oath that God swears at the beginning of the surah. Alif, Lam, Mim. The discourse here addresses a specific group of believers, not the Muslims in general or the non-believers. It pertains to the people of faith, whom God describes here. The Prophet ﷺ said of this faith, Faith is light that God casts into the heart of the believing servant. Not just any servant, but the one who believes in these six pillars, whereupon God casts this light into his heart. The heart is the interior it's the jauf of the human being. God casts this light into the believing servant's interior, where it may then increase or decrease based on his action. The light of faith has a direct connection to action. The one who claims to have faith but does no action has no true claim to it. As long as you believe, your faith must be manifest in your outward actions throughout your daily life. Even non-believers have faith in a certain sense, since some of them believe in the oneness of God, but they do not act upon this light of faith by following its requirements as sent down in the teachings of the Prophet wasallam. They disbelieve totally in this, which is what makes them non-believers. If a Muslim's actions are lukewarm, we cannot really call him a believer, a mu'min. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said that if you see your neighbor going regularly to the mosque to pray, bear witness that he is a believer. This implies that you cannot attest to his faith if he does not go regularly to the mosque, if a Muslim claims that he believes in God, but he is inconsistent in action and prays sometimes, but makes excuses not to on other occasions, we cannot attest to his faith. That is what the Prophet ﷺ said 
and his words are the foundations of our convictions. This is especially true of prayer, for it is the mainstay of the religion. You cannot hold to the pillars of Iman, of faith or true conviction and certitude, while being neglectful of the pillars of Islam. Submission. Practice. Holding fast to the pillars of Islam paves the way for faith. If you reach the level of Iman, of faith, but then neglect Islam, you will fall back from Iman to Islam. Islam must be perfected if you are to gain understanding of the reality of Iman. God says in Surah Al-Hujurat, قالت الأعراب آمنا قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا The Bedouins say we believe say you do not believe but say we submit أسلمنا for faith has not yet entered your hearts Someone might object to this and say are you trying to exclude me from faith? No one is excluding you from anything if you are diligent about the pillars of Islam, they will attest to whether you are in the level of faith or not. It is your deeds that have the final say. If you are righteous, God will make the light of faith enter your heart, your interior. Note the Prophet ﷺ said that it is Allah who casts this light into the heart, not Ar-Rahman, the All-Merciful, or any other name. Allah, the name of the essence, the sum of all other names. The pillars of Islam thus give you a direct connection with the name of majesty, Allah. Someone might be lax about prayer or zakat, the alms tax, yet claim to be an heir of the name or know the secrets of the name. Far from it, you cannot take some dream or vision and make it the central pillar of your life, though you may not even understand what it means. It all comes back to what God revealed in his book and the Prophet ﷺ taught in his sunnah. The Prophet ﷺ chose the habit of frequenting the mosque as the sign of faith because the mosque means the community, the jama'ah. Those who do so do not need to make claims about their own faith, for we bear witness to it ourselves. When your heart, your qalb, is filled with light, your outer appearance, or your qalib, will be too. The sign of this in a person is that he is from the people of the sunnah and jama'ah, and never neglects the prayers. Let's turn to faith in the unseen. Those who believe in the unseen, alladhina yu'minuna bil ghayb. What is the unseen? It is what lies behind the outward receptacles, beyond those things that are manifest in the mulk, the kingdom or the physical sensory realm. They believe in it before it becomes manifest. If you need to see it first, before you believe in it, this is not faith. For example, this light of God, the light of faith that increases and decreases. They believe in this even before it manifests, because God says, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. And so they believe even without seeing. Imam al Junaid radiallahu anhu said, the one who believes in our discourse before he reaches it himself is one of the spiritual elites. He is among the khassa. He is one of us simply by believing in what we have attained, even before he attains it himself. Likewise, when you believe in God's light, you have a share of it. A man is with those he loves. Al-mar'u ma'aman hab as the Prophet ﷺ says, faith in the unseen comes down to believing in something before it is manifested in the physical realm. As for the one who has doubts until he sees it for himself, 
he belongs to the class of those about whom God says, You do not believe, but say, We submit, for faith has not yet entered your hearts. The light, in other words, has not entered your heart yet. He uplifts the righteous deed. Al-amal salih yarfa'u and sends down light into your interior and exterior in return for it. He lifts up the righteous deed to himself and bequeaths to you something greater and more sublime, which is light in your heart. This light of faith is then added to the light of action. Nurun ala nur, light upon light. God guides to his light whom he will. Allah says, Who believe in the unseen, yu'minuna bil ghayb, they believe in what exists in the malakut of God, the spiritual kingdom, the realm of divine sovereignty, just as they see firsthand what exists in his kingdom, his mulk, the physical realm. If you believe in this light, though it is unseen to you, what if you saw it with your own eyes? Now, turning to the observing of the book of prayer, Allah says, those who believe in the unseen and observe the prayer, يقيمون الصلاة Observing the prayer is the mainstay of the religion, the second pillar of Islam after belief in God. Note that it is observing the prayer, إقامة الصلاة, not merely discharging or making up the prayer, the qada. Some discharge the prayer while others observe it. Discharging the prayer means making up for the prayer that one has missed, as though it were a debt that you are repaying. The one who observes the prayer performs it with diligence from beginning to end. It is the difference between maintaining a permanent connection with someone and settling a transaction with someone a perpetual prayer that is never interrupted. When you have completed the prayer, قَضَيْتُمُ الصَّلَاةِ Allah says, Remember God standing, sitting, and on your sides. Then when you are secure, observe the prayer, for prayer is prescribed for the believers at fixed times. Surah An-Nisa, verse 103. After you have discharged the prayer as though it were a debt to be repaid, how do you ascend to the level of observing the prayer? Remember God standing, sitting, and on your sides. Qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubikum. The way to ascend to perpetual observance of prayer with God is to engage in continuous remembrance after the prayer in whatever situation you may find yourself. But do not claim to be one of the folk of remembrance unless you have at least discharged or made up your prayer, if not observed it. Then when you are secure, Allah says, observe the prayer. You must have certainty, اطمئنان, before you can observe the prayer. Because Allah says, فَإِذَا اطْمَأْنَنْتُمْ فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةِ You have the security, the اطمئنان. And so observe it. So first, there is discharging the prayer. There is qada. Then continuous remembrance that brings you to security, to tranquility. A return to the presence of God and love for prayer. And then... Finally comes the observance of prayer. The folk of remembrance are those who observe the prayer, while all others merely discharge it neglectfully without knowing its meaning. Allah says, Then when you are secure, فَإِذَا تَمَأْنَنْتُمْ Observe the prayer, for prayer is prescribed for the believers at fixed times. فَإِذَا اطْمَأْنَنْتُمْ فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا مَوْقُوتًا Surah An-Nisa, verse 103. Note that Allah says, عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ For the believers, not the Muslims, 
Prescribed is kitab, literally a book. Prayer too is a book. Praise be to God. We discussed at length how Alif Lam Mim is a book, and now we see that prayer is a book as well. What does it mean that prayer is kitab, is a book? God says, The day we roll up the heaven as the scribe rolls up writings, which means that the heaven is a book. We said that Alif Lam Mim is also a book. The Prophet ﷺ said, I leave among you the book of God and my progeny, my household. And he described the book as a rope lowered from heaven to earth. Now this book is not a collection of pages, it is prayer. Salat, a sila, a link between servant and Lord. If you wish to keep this rope suspended between you and God, you must be one of those who discharged the prayer, then remembered God standing, sitting, and on their sides, then became totally secure, then observed and upheld an unbroken link to God, and became aware of the reality of this book of fixed times. The book has appointed time wherein they renew their pledge of allegiance and link with God five times a day. They do not neglect these fixed times or make excuses. The one who makes the excuse that he is too sick to pray should know that yes, indeed he is sick, outwardly and inwardly. It is never permitted to skip prayer even if you are sick. You pray as well as you are able, standing, sitting, or on your sides. What matters is that you maintain your connection to God. As you pray through the day from one prayer to the next, and from one day to the next, it is as if you are climbing this rope lowered from heaven to earth, bit by bit. It is in this connection with God that you will find your repose. The Prophet ﷺ said, Give us peace with it, Bilal. Arihna biha ya Bilal. O soul at peace, return to your Lord, well pleased, well pleasing. Ayyatuha nafsul mutma'inna turji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyah. When the soul is at peace, mutma'inna, it observes its link with God and returns to Him. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد